Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. We are going to make the most satisfying cheese slices using Jello. We're also making a bunch of different colors, so stick around if you want to learn how to make them. Check this out. Look how jiggly this Jello cheese slice is. Looks amazing, right? Alright, so to make these treats, you don't really need much. You'll need a lot of Jello, whatever colors you like. We're using red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You'll also need some unflavored gelatin. And in order to make perfect cheese slices, you will need a cheese mold like this. This one's pretty easy to find. I got mine on Amazon. Okay, let's start by blooming some unflavored gelatin. I'm going to add three tablespoons into this bowl filled with water. Now I'm just going to give this a mix for a couple of minutes. As long as you don't see a bunch of white clumps, that means you're good. If you do see a lot, that means you may need to add more water, or just use much hotter liquid later to dissolve. Alright, I have 3 quarter cups of hot water here. Let's start by making red jello. I'm using a 6 ounce pack, but I'll only be adding half. Now let's bring back the gelatin, and add half of that as well. Once again, easiest way to dissolve everything is if your liquid is super hot. If you can't get the gelatin to dissolve, put your cup in the microwave for 30 seconds. Alright, that looks good. Before pouring, spray some cooking oil in the cheese molds. That'll help you later when you take out your jello. Perfect. Now let's make orange. Mix until everything dissolves. Now let's pour our orange jello mix into another mold. Alright, now let's make yellow. Give me a minute. Nice! Now let's pour into another mold. By the way, I bought extra molds just to speed the process up, but you can totally get by with one. Okay, now let's make green. But yeah, if you don't want to wait for each color, maybe buy extra. Okay, let's make two more colors. Here's blue. Pour it in here. Now let's make purple. Here's the last mold. And these will take about four hours to set. If you want to be safe, you can leave them overnight. Alright, let's see how they turned out. Quick feel check, and they feel very jiggly, so that's a good sign. By the way, when you take your jello out of the mold and it doesn't come out perfectly, that means you didn't use enough unflavored gelatin. Just a heads up. But here's a closer look at our red cheese slice. Okay, now let's take out the orange. If you want to be extra safe, I would say use more gelatin, but keep in mind that you're going to give up more flavor for extra strength. The amount I provided will still make your jello cheese taste really good. Now let's check out the yellow. Ooh, this yellow one looks beautiful too. Now I'm just going to fast forward a bit and put all of the cheese slices on the plate. Oh la la, check this out. Here's a rainbow cheese platter. It looks beautiful. Okay, here's a closer look at our cheese slices one more time. And right after this, I'll do a taste test for y'all. Alright, no need to try all of them, so I'll just try this red jello cheese slice. This is a pretty massive jello treat, so let's see how big of a bite I can make. Oh, that's not bad. And this was a very gummy bite. Like I said earlier, not as sweet as regular jello, but it's still a really good dessert. And it's a really fun dessert, too. I can't keep my eyes off this jello cheese. It's incredible. And there's so many things I like about this, but the number one thing is the feel. The jiggly feel is awesome. Alright, here's how the orange cheese looks once you cut it in half. And now I'm just going to do a little slicing show with the rest of the cheese slices, so sit back, relax, and enjoy.
awesome or pop fans thank you so much for watching we can't do this without you if you're new to the channel and became a fan click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff and if you want to be the first person to watch our next video hit that notification bell to have a chance see ya